H1N1 virus has focused attention on vaccines and their availability. Today, we're talking about the development of oral vaccines, much more user-friendly than those injections, of course. And joining us now is the 2004 Nobel Prize winner for chemistry, Avram Hershko. He works with Oramed, which is testing the oral administration of insulin for diabetics. Uh, is it Professor Hershko? I'd like to get the pronunciation right, Professor. Yeah, uh, Hershko, yeah, correct. Yeah. Professor Hershko. Hershko. Thanks for being with us. Yes. Are we close to well, bringing pleasure. an oral vaccine for something like swine flu? Are we close to bringing it to the market? Well, I hope so. Uh, I am advising to an Israeli uh, biomed company called Oramed, uh, who has developed a, a good uh, technology uh, for oral administration of proteins. Now, I should explain proteins. Uh, our, uh, our insulin, our uh, vaccines, uh, usually uh, they uh, have to be injected uh, because they are uh, broken down uh, in, our, uh, in our body, in our in intestines. Uh, and uh, that's quite a big problem, for example, for diabetics who have to take a, a daily injection uh, of insulin. And that's why uh, Oramed uh, has developed the new technology. Now, Professor, the same technology can be used for, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt, but yes. I've got limited time. Uh, how many years okay. do you think we are away from putting like a swine flu vaccine into an oral format? Are, are we one year, two years? Can you get any estimate well, on the uh, time frame? Well, you know, it's very hard to estimate uh, development of drugs because you have to test them for safety and all that. But I would think uh, about in about two, three years, we should, be, we should be there because we can administer proteins and uh, when a swine flu uh, vaccine is de developed, uh, it, it can also be administered orally, which is much safer, yeah. easier, and uh, much e easier to distribute. In, in many cases, and vaccine using, makers... That would be used, the technology. Yeah, in many yes. cases, vaccines, vaccine makers don't make a great deal of money on vaccines. It's not a really profitable business. If you could get oral administration of vaccines, does that enhance profitability? Well, yes, because distribution would be much simpler. You don't have, have to have to use doctors or nurses. You just uh, give a, a capsule uh, to everybody. Uh, it's uh, especially important in developing countries, but also in other countries. Uh, so that would be a, a, a huge uh, a development in the administration. Yeah, of, of the vaccine. One last uh, real fast question, uh, Professor, is, is the technology yes. for this oral delivery service, is that uh, your technology, Oramed Pharmaceuticals technology, just yours? That's, that's all, not mine. I am an advisor there. That's the Oramed, the Israeli company that developed it. It includes a couple of components. Uh, it has to be protected uh, against uh, uh, environment in the, in the stomach and intestine, then it has to be uh, uh, put through the intestine, it gets through, so it's, it's already in an in advanced stage of development for uh, the administration of insulin, and I believe it will be very good for other uh, uh, important uh, 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 uses, such as uh, the administration of vaccines including swine flu uh, vaccine. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor Avram Hershko, okay, thank you. 2004 Nobel Prize winner for chemistry. Thanks very much for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question. Are the Beatles...